welcome to Chit Chat with Ross and Robbie, where we like to chat about chit. What do you even on a Sunday? Hey, Robbie. Hey, Paige. You bought us this book. I did. We haven't used it yet. Not yet. We've not. This is the number one New York Times bestseller, over one million in print, the book of questions. How many of you have this book? A lot of questions. In that A lot book. of questions. Let's yes, there see. Are. There are 217 questions in this book. Wow, we can ask like a question a day and still be on this book for a while. I know, right? Yeah, we're just spread them out. We're gonna we'll spread, spread them out. out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna give me a number between one and two seventeen. I'm gonna look up that question. It's like You're gonna answer roulette. It. it is a question roulette. Here we go. One thirty-seven. One thirty-seven for the win. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Come on, oh, okay. get that pair of shoes. Yep. Yeah. Do you find it so hard to say no that you regularly do favors you do not want to do? If so, why? I'm a people pleaser. So uh, sometimes I find, yeah, I mean. So, so I guess the answer then would be, yes, you find it hard to say no. I find it hard to say no, um, particularly if it's like somebody that I know and I know well, you know what I mean? So I, like, I've had a couple of friends who we've just, it's like a support group. We've gone in and we've discussed the fact that we're like the people pleaser people. And so people, pe people pleaser people, like do that like they they don't really always know how to say or they don't know when to say no and sometimes like it's you know you have that friend like can you come over and help me move sure like why well, I, I moved into my new apartment now i need to paint my walls can you help me out sure mm -hmm. and then you're like hey i helped you move in I, I painted your walls i need to go to the dentist next week can you take me i'm too busy yeah yeah that's frustrating oh, that's it's frustrating. not fun wow. i find it hard to say no because mm. I have this mantra that I only live this life once and I want to do everything I possibly can. Yeah, but what if that person's after you do something you haven't done, you, you need to do that. I'm just saying I find it hard to say no because I want to do everything. Okay. So, I mean, like, basically in that scenario, so, like, anybody asks you anything, you're just going to do it game on. I try. So you're a people pleaser. Yes, I am. See, that's bad. It's like, I think it's a bad It's not bad. My mother, but, but it is bad if you're always painting the walls and moving the person over there and like going over and sitting their dog and then they need, you well, need no, the I, help. Okay, and, I do it to a certain extent because if I get burned once, okay. I get burned twice. Yeah, I get burned twice. Mm. That third time, no, sorry. Sure, sorry. I'm saying no, but sure, sorry, Johnny. I can. Can't I can. do it. I can. Okay, so you want to oh, ask me yep, one? I ask one forty three. We need to do the music after we've done that. One forty three. Okay. <laughs> and, and we will kind of scan these questions just to make sure they are appropriate for our family friendly context. Um, okay, it's a two parter that happens a case. So it's actually more than two seventy. Anyway. Okay. Um, do you ever spit or pick your nose in public? Part two. Uh, what about cleaning your teeth with a toothpick? Okay. No, um, part one. Well, I was, I was going to get there. Okay. Sometimes I spit in public. For instance, when we did those stupid jelly beans, I spit those stupid jelly beans out. On the floor. Like it was in public the, on the TV. The crew on the, had to come the in. Thing. They had to clean it up. I told, they were like, not happy about it. I told Samantha that that was yours. Well, I'm sorry. So she looked at well, me. Well, Jeff was wasn't like, too thrilled about it either. <laughs> oh, the production crew. We got and letters. Marcus. We got letters about the jelly oh, beans. Yeah, we did. We can't do that again. Thank sorry. God. Um, Pick your so, nose. So have I spit? Yes. Have I picked my nose? I'm sure I have. I think, isn't there like some states like it's illegal? Like illegal? Like it's still literally. What are they going to do? Throw you in the jailhouse for picking your I nose? No. Really? For spitting. For oh, spitting. spitting? I think it's. Possibly it's on the books. I think in a social etiquette book, it's not ladylike. No, it's not. Okay. And. and but if you had a jelly bean that tastes like a booger, because <laughs> you pick your nose and eat a booger at the same time. <laughs> see? See? That was, Ooh. that's just wrong. Ooh. I did have a. Um, yeah. Uh, one of my friend's mothers one time told me constantly how unladylike it was of me to spit. Because apparently I did used to spit a lot. In all fairness, my dad dipped and he chewed tobacco, so I saw him spit. I didn't think there was anything wrong with spitting. Dipper and a spitter. Dipper and a spitter, and I just spit. I didn't dip. Um, pick my nose, probably yes, because I, think about it. If you're somewhere and you got a bat in a cave and you know you try to like do this, but sometimes it doesn't work. So you discreet. You know, I I feel like people no? do it. No, I feel like oh, okay, I yeah. feel like it's a like human thing, and I feel like you're if you're just being all prudish, like yeah, yeah, I didn't do that. Like if you got Don't a sword sticking it. outside of your nose and it is driving you nuts, 
you're not gonna like wait till you get somewhere where you can get a tissue and do it private in the bathroom. I don't buy that. Don't yeah, tell I mean, me you do. Don't tell I me. I mean, you you'll try to avoid it. Like, I mean, try not to do know. it in front of other people. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and have I ever used a toothpick in public? Ooh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, how about cleaning your teeth with? It? What else are you cleaning your teeth with? Uh, lots of things. First uh, of all, I can tear a piece of paper no. off of me. Oh, I do, do it. That. See, I do that. I find a piece of paper and I can pick my teeth. I'm a bad teeth picker because I do not like anything in my teeth. Mm, no, I don't need it. Especially if you had corn, uh, like popcorn, corn, like it's just like the kernel stuff. Greens. Mm. Greens. You don't want to get any of that stuck up in there. <laughs> or those jelly beans. Oh, you don't want to get those stuck up in there either. Especially the booger flavored jelly beans. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what we did. We did a book of questions today. We're probably going to do book questions randomly. That's like, fine. I like that. So, yeah. And uh, what about we, you? We might should mark the ones we've done. We'll do that. Yeah. Not we'll right do now. That. We'll do that. Not now. We'll have the production staff do it. Oh. Shirley needs something. Samantha. Do. Shirley. Shirley. One, Shirley. 137. What was the other number? 143, I think. <laughs> we have to go back. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> what you, hey, did you write it down? You did? Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you highlighted it. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's All, right. Works. It's all right. Anyway. So what about you? You pick in the public and whatever. Like, what was you the spit. other question? What was the other one? Question. Your question. What was your question? <laughs> Somebody remind us what oh, this question was. Oh, Lord. We taped it for you, so you tell us. Yeah. Anyway, leave Just us some comments down attention. in the box down below. Be sure and like us. Don't forget to share us. Check us out on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow on Facebook. Love you. Bye. Bye.